I am just going to talk to you guys candidly, please. Um, I am really trying to uh, understand this dating thing that we are doing in society now. I don't get it. I don't get it. What is that called? The uh, like the POFs and the Match.com online dating. I don't get it. I don't get it. I I just don't get it. <laughs> and uh, I don't get you know people asking you for your number and then they don't call you. I don't get going out on first dates and then you get treated like crap. I had somebody tell me that I smile too much. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I'm like, what was I supposed to be, mad? Was I supposed to be angry? I don't get it. So... Only thing I can come up with is that people carry a lot of vicarious trauma with them. It could be stemmed from childhood, past relationships, watching other people relationships. I don't know, but I think a lot of people have these preconceived notions of the whole world. I do. I'm seeing it too much. It's the same thing over and over. I'm not saying everybody, but like a good amount of the population, I think is traumatized. I, I really do in some form or fashion. A large majority of society has some type of relationship traumas and they have never either dealt with them or got closure for them, or have been able to move past them, but it's affecting their current situations, which alters their future. Yeah. I don't get it. I, I just, it's sad, because I, I want to see more happy people. I really do. I want to see more happy people. I'm a happy person. I, I do that because I choose to be a happy person. I don't bring things around me that um, would create negative um, space for me. I don't watch news. I don't watch like those SVUs or those Law and Orders Lifetime because it alters my... Um, you know, my current situation, if I was in a happy mood and I started, I watched a whole lifetime marathon of women getting beaten by men, you know, then I'm, I'm anxious and I'm excited. It's called vicarious trauma. I'm carrying what I've been watching on TV all day with me. And now I am changing my current situation, my current emotion because of some crap I saw on TV. So I just choose not to. I don't, I don't, Watching, I don't care if I watch the Hallmark Channel all day, Andy Griffith and stupid stuff, you know, just, I don't care. As long as it doesn't, you know, evoke any kind of, of a negative energy out of me, I watch it. Um, and I've learned by doing that, it's just changed my whole perception. You know, I kind of go out, out now and I'm not worried about, you know, what's going to be, what's going to happen. Because a lot of us, we go through that. We we kind of be like, you know, well, what's going to happen or this might happen or your kids can't play because this might happen. And that's not living. We weren't put out here on this earth to not be able to um, experience life. You know, that that just doesn't make sense. It's, it don't make sense. We were... We're put here to enjoy and embrace life. And if we're going through life with a lot of fear, then we're not living. We're holding ourselves hostage to life. Well, not to life, but 
to fear. We're holding ourselves hostage to fear. And I think that's sad. That, that's I think that's like really, really sad that, you know, we have a whole lot of people that are trapped in their fear and in their anxiety and sadness. And they're not able to really enjoy love and affection and attentiveness and peace you know it it's it takes a lot to um, put yourself in a mindset where you choose to live peacefully that's how I am right now I choose to live peacefully so you know I I hear everybody else's anxiety you know but I pull myself to the side and I take those deep breaths and I let it go. I can't control anything that's out of my hands and I can only control the things that I can control and I'm not going to let other people's anxieties and stresses and fears and perceptions change my reality that I'm creating for myself at this moment. And that is my thing. I really believe on that. Oh, my cake is ready. I'll talk to you all later.